unless you married your high school sweetheart, you've probably been in that position of you dated someone for so long and then now that you're broken up with them, people that you're around still think of you guys as a couple. I think that when you can hit on something like that where people go, I've been there, or they can put themselves into the song, that's when you know you got something special. But now it's like talking about writing it as a duet and we were like no we shouldn't do that because it's so hard to get you know the right duet partner it was like man if I could pick anybody to come sing on this song it would be her and she agreed to do it so it just uh, very much worked out the way I wanted it. I got an email saying that he wanted me on a song and I had no idea it would be a single I had no idea what it was about it just was like yes I want to sing with you and come to find out it's gonna be a single so it's very exciting. I'm just getting Another sober Saturday night. I'm a gigantic Vince Gill fan, and I was like, I want to ask him to do something on this song. I wonder if he'll do it. And he was like, sure, yeah, man. Come come over to my house. I'll, we'll do it at my studio. He sang the harmonies on, on this song, Sober Saturday Night, and killed it. No, I'm not hungover, it's true, but I'm still not. Vince comes out and he sits down he goes, now, I just don't want you to feel like if I play something that you're, you're handcuffed to it, you don't have to put it on the record if you don't like it. And I look over, there's a wall full of Grammy Awards, and I'm like, no, I think we're going to keep it. I think whatever you do is going to be fine. Being able to have him on the record is something really special.